Do you feel that with Gaia being obviously Mother Earth, that we need more of this female energy and move away from the male energy that's been dominating the planet for centuries? I think that really is out of balance. And yeah. so what they're really trying to do is bring about a false androgyny, which is indicative of the reptilian situation. So what they're doing is they're feminizing men and they're creating more masculine females and they're also imprinting everybody for group sex and a lot of other things going on out there. So there really is just a mixing up of the energy, which goes way back to what we talked about a few minutes ago, that people don't know who and what they are, and therefore they are imitating whatever the mass imprinting is being shown to them. See, we have noticed that, we've talked about that before on the show, regarding the chemicals that are being used on a daily basis and the, 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 the changing the feminine uh, of being uh, men being more feminine and women being more like larger and yes, being absolutely. more men and that's been over the last few years that's and not only that but i mean even what you just what you just said there about the girls being larger louts or whatever maybe is a different term a terminology in, in the u.s but that's they now have tv shows based on that uh, girls going out getting drunk and what they get up to it, it's now T a television show yeah yeah no, unbelievable no the change yeah. the, the change in the whole lot and um it's, 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 I mean, it's more, you can see it more than what you could. Go back 10 years, you didn't really see that. But there is a big, big, big change going on, um, which is worrying because one of the things, um, I was on, on, on Facebook and one of the ladies said that there's, there's a higher level of men going to doctors saying that they have breast cancer. And this is men. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's been going on actually for a long time, but um, but it all has to do with nurturing. The breasts represent nurturing, and there is no nurturing that's going on. Female energy, people don't know what that is. True feminine energy, they don't know what that is. And that was started back with the women's liberation movement, and that was not about women being equal to men. That was about changing women into men. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to GGN. Uh, my website is ggnonline.com and ddarko2012 ddarko2013 on my YouTube channels. All right, so um, some of my subscribers or viewers may have heard that little audio clip uh, from Janet and Stuart Swerdlow uh, from a little while back, maybe a month or two ago. But uh, they, she says it the best. You know, I, I can't put it any other better, any other way. So I just thought I'd include that in there with uh, just a plethora of articles that I've come across, and I was hoping to get some time. Uh, to be able to do this and now finally after all the technical quote glitches and that and being down for a week uh, now I have time to get to this and I'm not going to go deep into each article this is just going to give you kind of a overview of all of the crap that I've seen in the past month as far as girl power right so you just heard Janet talking about it's not about empowering women it's about turning women into men so uh, Okay, let's, so let's just start off with this. The phrase girl power is a term of empowerment express a cultural phenomenon. It's, it's a phenomenon. It was designed, socially engineered into society. So it's, you know, it's not like, oops, it just happened of the 1990s and early 2000s. That's why he said it wasn't really, uh, you don't really see it till you know, about the past 10 years. It is also linked to third wave feminism. The term was made popular by the Spice Girls in the mid to late 90s. So, you know, I understand that in many cultures, women have been kind of held down or oppressed by um, their husbands and stuff like that. And I'm not condoning of any of that, but there is a certain balance uh, to things as it was described in the beginning of the video. But if you look at Oxford's English dictionary down here in the same page, it says that the definition of girl power is power exercised by girls, a self-reliant attitude among girls and young women manifested in ambition and assertiveness and individualism. This is also used more widely. Uh, the term or slogan has been particularly and repeatedly associated with popular music. So those are the programming icons that are imprinting, as you heard earlier, um, in society, all these young people that are um, you know, easily influenced. And the whole thing about uh, the attitude of self-reliance among women, well, most women now, uh, they don't really want to get married. I mean, most men don't want to get married, but the thing is, is like usually, you know, women, or at least I remember the little bit when I was a kid, uh, that, you know, women just want to, they wanted to have kids, you know, it was a cool thing, or it was at least something that you wanted to do, you look forward to. Now it's just kind of like, 
their trouble. And one of the articles I'll get into is what? Oh, double trouble, talking about twins now uh, increasing because girls are going to in vitro fertilization. So a lot of girls aren't even going to be able to have children because they're, you know, uh, they're not fertile or, you know, they're getting sterilized because it's sexy and cool. That's right. That's been in the media now to get sterilized. It's sexy and keeps you independent. So, but the other thing is, is what is the engineering, which is uh, the divorce rate, it's just humongous. It's skyrocketed, ballooned, and this is again by the engineering. So this is to have so uh, have women that are now by themselves. If they do, they have one kid trying to support. It's going to be brought up and raised by the state uh, with the same type of propaganda, and she's going to be self-reliant. So, okay, moving on here, we have Melanie Fiona celebrities or celebrates girl power with watch me work video and move over spice girls because uh, melanie fiona is now the new face of girl power movement the new shades of feminism and you can see some of the you know, stereotypes right there they're all holding hands right so so they're talking about this uh, hbo show girls i don't have cable i so I didn't really know about this until I came across this stuff. But HBO's girls, please don't quit your moaning. Young feminists are tired of being told we don't know we're born. So this is a New York Times piece that covered this to kind of promote it. The spirit of sisterhood is in the air and on the air, talking about HBO's girls. But then this uh, Maura Pennington uh, did this article. She titled it Girl Power? Question mark. But she goes on and she says that uh, this article, The Spirit of Sisterhood in the Air, uh, on the air shares a lot of research uh, people have done on female bonds among animals and uh, she basically goes on and says she doesn't understand though is how the so-called powerful defense system of friendship found in the HBO show Girls is supposed to be the human evidence for this as the article argues in the past Sunday night's episode the girlfriends go to a women's health clinic because one of them is scheduled for an abortion and another an STD test because as the science columnist described it, her atonal lover explores her fantasies on her awkwardly untitulated body and is cavalier about condom use. So she goes, call me crazy, but I'm not convinced female friendship is supposed to be about supporting each other in poor nihilistic choices. Elephants have been known to rescue each other's children. I think we as humans can do better by our fellow women. I was surprised to see that article, but it was perfect tie-in. So the Council on Women's and Girls. So this was actually something that uh, I found on YouTube. There's a video, you can go check it out. But it has to do with STEM, uh, which has to do with science and promoting science and women. Which again, on the surface, seems you know nice and wonderful and good. You know, uh, I think I've mentioned before about how Iran has the most female scientists in the world. But I'm not against that or anything. But what I'm saying is, is that the female is going to be used to completely destroy the rest of the family and to carry out eugenics because they believe in the scientists whereas a lot of men will be like uh, sorry it just doesn't fit common sense right so you can say what you want and that's just my personal opinion but here we go girl power exclusive male geek stereotype vanishing so uh, it says here these stem courses lead to success so this is not just a grassroots thing uh, you know coming from society a phenomenon this is being promoted and this is part of policy government policy so never mind the fact that the United States has basically been losing to the whole uh, you know computers and science and stuff like that civil engineers and that but it says uh, the women's participation in this has been steadily declining as well and they go on there and they talk about this uh, program called fab fem a social media website that is trying to bridge the gap but it goes on there and it says that um, along with this Brevard Car uh, County there's other local heavy hitters in the high-tech sectors that are being included including the Society of Women Engineers, NASA, Boeing, uh, uh, Kinetic, NA, Lockheed Martin, all with so there's a basic cultural bias, they say. The next generation of women in science, you can go in there, and White House welcomes the next generation of female scientists to show their projects to our Fuhrer, President Obama, who's probably a closet communist. I think that's what Breibart was killed over, uh, the little bit of footage he was showing. But uh, mothers accept tetanus, and that's part of this communist little uh, 
uh, uh, social policy. This is all part of it. So, you know, acceptance and tolerance. Mothers accept tetanus, diphtheria, and accelerator pertosis vaccine in pediatric office. Remember, I covered this. So the mothers are, are going to accept the eugenics. And then mothers are going to warn other parents to carry out the eugenics on their children. From April 19th, 2012, these women refuse to stay in the kitchen. Followed by this from April 30th, eight unsung woman explorers. This is all stuff that's been out in the past month. And it just, there's so much that I could just keep going for hours with this stuff. So Muslim women in India are seeking gender equality in marriage. And let's not forget in, um, in Afghanistan and that, uh, the West is like basically funding these schools for girls and the Taliban are blowing them up and they keep rebuilding them and uh, funding them and then the Taliban keep blowing them up. Help celebrate Girl Power Day on April 17th. That was what? The nation was recognizing Equal Pay Day and what? Oh, a test on equal pay. So on the question of equal pay for women, blah, 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 and they make it political. So as more and more men or fathers are losing their jobs, can't find jobs, been looking for couple of years now four years and they get kicked out of the house the child goes into uh, what the state indoctrination re-education camps and the woman goes off to wear the pants and goes to work young women are more career driven than men so young women now in fact place more importance on having a high paying career than young men do according to a new survey a test of equal pay Lego getting girl power. It says Lego recently introduced Lego Friends line in an attempt to make their toys more relevant to girls. In other, in other words, to um, uh, program them. So brainwash them. Countries power women dominate nominations for the 2012 Country Music Awards. Then Jackie the Ripper. Ooh, was infamous serial killer a woman? W movie review, damsels in distress packed with girl power. So just look at their facial expressions, kind of like deer in the headlights or something. It's like that um, that other show, uh, Girls, whatever, the HBO series picture. Next up, we have Kate Perry. Uh, Kate Perry's Part of Me video boycotted by feminist writer Naomi Wolf. Why? Oh, because she cl claims it was propaganda for the U.S. Marine Corps. Of course, that's the one where she's breaking up with her boyfriend and doing her best G.I. Jane impersonation, cuts her hair and joins the Marine. That's right. Don't you guys remember this movie? Um, G.I. Jane with the Kabbalist Demi Moore in 1997 was promoting girl power. That's right. And it's always these celebrities, these stars that promote this agenda, isn't it? Luciferian agenda. Female gladiators tantalizing new evidence from ancient Rome depiction of women gladiators. Then in Nepal's Kung Fu nuns practice karma with a kick. This is just from May 8th. Then we have up next, don't insult bikini hockey league with comparisons to lingerie football league. They'll hit you. You might get checked. Then next up, we have assaulted military women band together. And uh, they're showing these minorities. And that's something else I'm going to get to which is a population antidote, high school for girls. So high school for girls equals population control equals sustainable growth. So sustainability is synonymous with population control. So study more preteen girls get vaccines when middle schools require them. So that's right. When you get those re-education camps involved, eugenics just flows. So then they can go back to the experts so they get IV uh, in vitro uh, treatment to have kids. But for those that do, in tough times, three Planned Parenthood branches fight back by merging. So Texas uh, Planned Parenthood advocates have uh, been outspoken about the hits they've taken from state lawmakers in last year, including major cuts to uh, family planning, financing, reproductive health or eugenics, population control. Pro-abortion bill proposed in Ireland says one year in prison for pro-life counseling. Keep So if you do decide to go through the abortion, if you're a female, and especially if you're a programming icon like a celebrity, you're going to get this crap, which is Jennifer Gardner debuts post-baby bod and red carpet. That's right. Reese Witherspoon is already plotting her post-baby career comeback and Selma Blair's post-baby body actress. So they're just objects, right? And when they have children, it's trouble, double trouble. Multiple births are on the rise. Why? Oh, because an increase in the use of vitro fertilization. Octomom's financial roles are not our only problem. So this the figurehead for uh, someone who went to in vitro fertilization and had 14 children, so bad, bad slave. 
uh, the end of marriage, husband, wife, households at record low 2010. The modern family show is closer to real families, interracial couples. Ooh, a black guy, a white woman, another black guy, a white woman. You see, that's racial tensions that they're doing. Moscow legislator to approve ban on sex propaganda to kids. Well, here in the U.S., sex eds for kindergartners are the right thing to do, says Obama. And as one mother is caught suffocating her own newborn, while mother defends breastfeeding her four-year-old, called attachment parenting, much like parents kissing their kids blindfold. Thank you.